Andy, did you know there's new achievements in Minecraft? Hello everyone, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Yeah, I take my bed for this one. As far as advancements go, uh, you know, for episode three, we're, we're doing okay. But there's this new one under this tab that caught my attention. Caves and cliffs. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. This advancement involves falling from the very top of the world to the very bottom and survive it. And I know just the place. In order to get to the top of the world, we need a lot of blocks. So I'm recruiting the tallest trees in the area for this job. I'm on the search now for the perfect hole in the ground. This one's good, but it's not the one. Now that's a good hole in the ground. So I think I wanna fall on this block right here. I'm gonna build that all the way up to the sky and then I'm gonna break some of these on the way down. Yeah, you should just fall straight into water. In theory. Oh boy. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, um, so for the actual advancement though, we are going to need to go all the way to bedrock. Oh! I think we are officially at bedrock. Oh boy. <laughs> the most fun thing about falling down is definitely the fact that you have to dig hundreds of blocks <laughs> back up. It's a lot further than it looks. Right, I've got nine baked potatoes and a dream. Let's go. If I successfully make this, you gotta like the video, okay? Deal? We're here. Oh, 320. Let's get this advancement, everyone. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> Do it, do it, do it! Yes! Caves and cliffs, I did it! <laughs> 10 out of 10 recommend that you do that in your world. It's genuinely quite a good time. <laughs> now it's time to just uh, wiggle my way back up here. <laughs> Let's go actually be productive, shall we? Right, I've made it back in one piece. Unfortunately, I only have five potatoes to my name. So far in this world, my diet has consisted entirely of bread and potatoes, which granted is not that different from real life, but still, we could do better. Farming is by far one of my favorite parts of Minecraft, and it's extremely important. We need leather, we need sugar cane, we need wheat, we need food, we need all the things. So I think it's time we expand our operations. Not in our grove though. Oh no, we expand operations elsewhere. This is our spawn. It's beautiful and it's right next to our grove right there. I think if we're wanting to expand a farming operation, this area is perfect for it. We can even recruit the villagers down the road once we have redstone and things. I think it's really suiting since this is where we got our first food and our first crops from. This village will be like where we do all our food trade. All I gotta do is get planting in this meadow. I can almost picture it now, rolling fields of crops all throughout this land. Just needs a little bit of work is all. Hello villagers, I will be stealing your bed for the night. Like with any good farming operation, we just gotta prep the land a bit. Smooth things over. I feel like a human lawnmower. I think I've been successful. This seems to be a lot better shaped. I, ignoring that. I've like smoothed it out just a little bit and gotten rid of some of the dandelions, as you can see. <laughs> now my spawn point was around here. So I'm just gonna mark out a really rough sort of path, kind of winding through this area and heading up towards the village. Nope, okay. Yeah, same. Okay, three iron shovels later, path. Next order of business is to actually begin on the fields, which means we got to get lots and lots of water sources in around here, and then we can just till the ground. This whole process is gonna take a while. Uh, but that's okay, I'm, I'm here for it. I actually really don't mind the more grindy parts of Minecraft. It's kind of fun. Unfortunately though, because it takes so long, uh, the sun keeps setting on us. And I do worry a little bit about our village over here. I want them to be safe. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, thank you. Nope. No. Uh-uh. Okay, we go to sleep. Okay, I think everybody seems to be all right. Just in case though, I think if we're gonna be working in the area, we got to light up the village. We gotta make sure they're safe. I have seven coal to my name. I think I have more diamonds than coal at this point in my life. Luckily though, there's this giant hole in the ground over here, which I'm hoping will get us some more easy coal. Just kidding, this is Minecraft, nothing's ever easy. Oh, ouch. Three 
skeletons just spawned directly in front of me. That's a little rude, to be honest. I, I don't feel like that was necessary. You know, the creepers were enough. Iron sword zombie, really? Do we need to? Is this necessary? Hey, skeleton. Do you want to shoot a creeper? I think it'd actually be really fun if you did. You could do it. Close, close. They've got to be close. Come on, Skelly. I believe in you. Come on, skeleton. You're so weak. <gasps> I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh my gosh. I got a, I got a disc. <laughs> Look. Okay. Music disc acquired. I'm looking a little porcupine-like, not gonna lie, but I feel great. Let's get this cool. We got the music disc weight as well, which I think is one of my favorites, if I remember correctly. Oh, hello. Yeah, we've got tons of torches out of that. So let's head over to our village over here and see if we can't protect it. I would honestly absolutely love to keep these villagers alive to the end game when we can actually do stuff with them and potentially transform the villages that we have around here. But for right now, we've just kind of got to do our best to see if we can keep them alive because they're pretty vulnerable out here. Okay, I've used a full stack of torches. Hopefully that'll help. Now, back to farming. Do you know what? I think it'd be nice to listen to some music while we worked. Jukebox. Perfect. <laughs> sound of music. The meadows come alive with the sound of music from a jukebox. Okay, everyone, let's get farming. Soil is prepared and it's looking beautiful. Now I've got all of my seeds on me and it's time we start planting. I'm gonna do this in a extremely random pattern, alternating every crop in every field. I know this doesn't make a lot of sense, but I like the idea of the field being extremely random with what's planted there. Next break. I don't have a lot of beetroot, so I'm gonna plant those right there and hopefully be able to keep track of them. You know, that is my second raid of this farming expedition and the third one of this world. Oi, those are my crops. No, 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 none of that, none of that. Come on. You can see this has been a problem before because I have a pit of death prepared. Come on, there you go. And then you just seal them in there and you forget they exist for a while. This is the most frantic way I've ever planted a field in my life. <laughs> and just like that, I'm out of seeds. It's okay though, because this appears to be growing extremely fast. It's very fertile metam soil we've got here. And besides this, we also need sugarcane and we also have pumpkins to plant. So there's more to do yet. I am also down to three bread, so I may have to pay the villagers a visit. Hello, yep, yeah, just need a bit of food, sorry. So for the sugarcane, we're just gonna go parallel to these fields here and just, you know, place them down. It's not gonna be super efficient and I'm sure we'll get automatic farms eventually, but It'll be a great place to start and it should look really pretty. I think this is going well so far. And I'm at a sugar cane. <laughs> it was short lived, but I do think it adds a nice pop of color to the area. Next up, I just have some pumpkin seeds, which I think we can just do a really similar thing to. I'm thinking maybe just right here in front of the sugar cane, we'll just do a couple of spots of it. And I'm gonna make it very random, which I think will look weird at first, but if we mix some leaves and things in, it should be cool. There we go little pumpkin patch. Our first harvest. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna take a little break, go get a little snack. You guys watch the crops for me, okay? Ah, perfect. Thank you for watching them. Okay, so now that some of these have grown up, we can go through the process of harvesting them and then spreading them. This may take a while. I have to say though, I really love the look of this farm so far. <laughs> it's already so many different types of green all mixed into one. It's gonna look really good, I think. Unfortunately, this process has taken a lot of iron tools, specifically five iron hoes, six axes, six shovels, and 11 pickaxes total so far in this world. Basically what I'm saying is I'm running extremely low on resources. And this is gonna take a while to grow up. So I think we ought to take advantage of the growing time and head down in this little cave over here once again. I fought the skeleton and creeper before in that section, but there's also this section that goes way deeper. Hello skeletons and creepers and baby zombie. Hello child. No, thank you. Even just entering a cave in 1.18 is tough. Okay, I'm just, you know. <gasps> okay, okay, 
okay, okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. I'm gonna start doing things the wimpy way. The brave way is not working very well. I get the feeling I'm being chased. I am being chased. Hello, child. Okay, this place is pretty crazy. The spider's got regeneration. Just what I needed. Okay, this cave has a lot going on, but luckily I found some iron. Look at that. There's diamonds right there. <laughs> <laughs> We're super near the surface, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and deep like coal. This cave was a bit tough to get into, but now that we're down here, it's kind of got everything. Oh, and look at that. Did you see this right here? That's a vein of iron. I've never seen one of those before, but it looks like it goes all the way through here. And we got some gold. I think that's our first gold of this Let's Play. Oh, it's a child. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You're well dressed anyways. Whoa, there's more diamonds right there. And look, the vein of iron continues right through here. It's mixed in with tough. This is so cool. Looks like it's just the one right here. This set looks to be a set of three. Cool. Okay, this may be a little weird, but I'm actually gonna focus on getting the iron while I'm down here. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to set up enchanting and potentially get fortune. But look at what I just got. A full block of raw iron from that vein converts to nine iron. That's exactly what I needed. So basically all of this tough here is going to be mixed in with iron and there's going to be tons of it. There's probably enough iron in this one vein to get me through the entire early game until we're fully onto diamonds. Well, that's the end of the iron pick. And honestly, I think I've gotten more than enough iron and other resources. So let's quickly head back up to the surface, shall we? Don't worry though, I'll make sure that I come back for the diamonds. Oh, home just in time for sunrise. I hope the village is okay, oh gosh. All right, let's run over to the village real quick. Make sure everything is safe over here. Excuse me, golems. Yep, you've got a really good view. Uh, are any baddies? Seems like everything's okay. Okay, back at my base now, and I'm getting all of the iron that we got all smelted up. Look at this. It's wonderful. I feel much better now that my resources are all replenished. And speaking of resources being replenished, it's time to feed the cows. We should have enough leather for an enchanting table in no time. But if we're going to get an enchanting table set up, then we're going to need a source of XP. Luckily for us, we have a spider dungeon. The standard dungeon protocol is that we expand out the sides on four each way, and then we just use water columns to push the spiders. It should be pretty simple. While I'm not thrilled about having to hear spiders so close to my base, maybe we can install an off switch so that we don't have to always hear it when working around the grove. Just something about spiders. <laughs> I think this is the first dungeon I've ever worked on where you can see the sky. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually. I might be able to use tinted glass in this. And with these couple of blocks, this initial room will be completely cleared out. Now, I want to flow the spiders in this direction, I think, because that should allow me to hit them from closer to my base. My tunnel is that way. Now, I just need two buckets of water and lots of digging. Oh, and a pretty sunset. So, some water over here, and some water over here, and then we just dig out this bit. Bonus emerald in the mix. And now if we break all of these blocks, I should get a nice flow towards the center. Yeah, like this. Now I gotta dig out a little killing room, which I think I'm just gonna make kind of a little square over here. And I should be able to connect it, hopefully, to our tunnel, which is that way. All right, it's not much, but I think this killing chamber is ready. This next bit is where it gets a little awkward. I, uh, I gotta actually turn it on. Hopefully with any luck, the spiders will have mercy and not spawn directly on my head. Yep, that's a spider. But good news, it appears to be working. So far so good anyways. And I think we may just have a successful spider spawner. Look at this. Okay, cows have been fed, spider XP farm is set up. I think it's time we go back to farming. Got a lot to do today, Dandy. The fields are looking amazing so far. While we wait for this to grow, I thought that we would change our little station here into a place with actual infrastructure. And I know just what this little farm needs. It needs a windmill. Every cute little farm needs a windmill. Windmills just make me so incredibly happy and I know that it would look good here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time now to just hopefully build one up. Starting with the foundation, this windmill is going to be roughly village size. I don't want it to overshadow what's going on back there. I just want it to like stand on its own ground. For the sides, I'm going to do these two little house-like structures. And then here in the middle, we're going to do a square windmill shape. I like the idea of it being square. It'll be a little more simple, but it should still look pretty cool. And I think about this height is good. MLD! Nailed it. Oop, that's not good. All right. 
A little premature harvest, it's okay. For the walls, I'm gonna do a simple birch wood. Might match my starter house a little bit, but I think it'll still look good out here in the farm. For the roof, we're just gonna do a little stair combination of spruce and oak. And just to mix it up, strip birch for the main body. Okay, that's it for the birch wood, so let's hop down and see where we're at. Wait for it, wait for it. Grand reveal. Hey, you know what? It's actually pretty cute. <laughs> There's something about the early game farms with the soft wood colors. It just makes me happy. Now, in order to build a windmill, we obviously need propellers for the front bit. And the classic early game Minecraft way to get those is through sheep's wool. So, sheep, if you could just uh, come on in here, <laughs> I think we'll get along. Come on. You guys are friends of Dandy, right? There we go. We have a child. Perfect. And we've started our wool production. Uh, now, let's do a quick harvest before we continue. I will just grab up these finished crop and hopefully we'll be able to expand the field even more. Look how much wheat seed I got just from one layer. <laughs> this is gonna be such a cool farm when it's done, I think. This is honestly such a relaxing process. If you're looking for something to do in Minecraft, 10 out of 10 recommend a giant field. Hello? What? It, we need peonies here. We need, we need peonies. Oh my goodness, dudes! I'm trying to be peaceful right now. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be peaceful. Yep. Don't mind me. Just digging a quick pit of death. It's fine. It's all good. Come on then. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. You're mad at me. I know. Yeah, yeah. Come on. That's it. That. No. No. The, the captain actually does need to go in. That's like the most important one, actually. Come on, in you go. That's it. Perfect, perfect, lovely. You guys will have a great time in there. And you need to go. Apparently this is a real problem in this world. We may have to work on some more defenses. For now, peonies. Lots and lots of peonies. Right, back to my peaceful planting, thank you. Okay, second session of spreading the field has gone well, I think. It's almost full on this side. Grabbing a little bit of birch wood now for the rest of the windmill. Okay, mission accomplished. I think the walls and roofs are all in in this place, and it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna put in a door back here, kind of connected to the pathway on this side, and then the windmill will go on the other side. Okay, this is where things get a little bit tricky. We just have to choose where exactly the propeller is going to go, and I think right here should do it. And then we just build it up on each side. On the inside curve here, I'm going to go for some fences just to add a little extra flare, hopefully. A little birch button right on the tip. And then in behind where the fences are, I'm just going to stack a little bit of wool. Hopefully that'll look good for a simple propeller design. Okay, and windmill grand reveal. Yeah, <laughs> it's simple, but I think it works. Next order of business is hopefully just some really simple details for the ends. And leaves, of course, fix everything. Yep, much better already. Right, now all I gotta do is expand this field over here. Ooh, pretty simple. Just a couple more seeds to be placed and this entire field will be planted. Isn't it beautiful? And it hasn't even grown yet. And look how much I have off of just trying to get seeds. I haven't even done a harvest yet. It's perfect, I think. It's going to give us so many early game crops and be a constant renewable source. Plus, looks pretty great. We'll get some automatic farms going eventually, but I'm quite happy with this for the moment. Oop, that's not good. Hey buddy, it's okay, you don't have to spin. It's fine. I got it. Don't worry. Yeah. I thought since I've been doing so much harvesting right nearby the village, I thought I would give them a little bit of wheat. Just as an offering, you know, so they can make bread and pass food around and hopefully grow the population. But they seem to be doing fantastic without me. What are your trades? Piercing. We can work on that. Oh, uh, I need this. Thank you. With my newly acquired field of crops, I feel we now have enough farmland to move on to the next part of this adventure. So I've filled my inventory with a couple of things that I might need and we can come back and do a harvest at any time and get more. But you know what? Before we go, I think we ought to give this place a name. It's where we got all of our first things, it's where we spawned, and now it's where we do our farming. Right, sheep? I think I'll name this little section of the world Misty Meadows. It's right near the mountains and it goes down to the ocean and it fades into the mist as we walk towards our grove. I think it's the perfect name for this farmland. Right, now let's go home back to the grove. Hello cows, I'm back. 
I've brought you fresh food from the Misty Meadows. So, as far as farming goes, I think we're doing quite well on the leather and also the sugarcane side of things. We should be able to get quite a few bucks out of this. Let's see, Dandy, how many can we get? 51! That seems like a lot, right? Yeah, 16 bookshelves. That's enough, I think. That should be enough, Dandy. Which means I just need my enchanting table. And now I was gonna tuck my enchanting table into like a cave somewhere, but I thought maybe we could put it down here. I could just tuck a little corner in here and we could hide our enchanting right here at home. Of course, we can make a fancier area at some point, but this will do for now, I think. Also, who left me a grass block? There was an enderman in here. Thank you. Now though, let's just get an even amount on all sides. There we go, level 30. Only problem is, uh, I'm not level 30. It's okay though, I feel great about the fact that we finally have an enchanting table and we can enchant the diamond gear that we can make now. Now, we just gotta come in here and wait for some spiders to spawn. Fixing up my farm a little bit using a waddles design because the first design I used didn't actually work that well for what I wanted. I will link Waddle's tutorial for this down in the description down below in case you want to make one yourself. We officially have level 30. Let's go enchant something, shall we? Just in case we don't get what we want, I am going to craft up a grindstone to put down there. Right there. And now for the moment of truth. Efficiency 3. Huh. What about a book? Nope. Okay. Sword? Uh, no. Axe? No. Shovel? No, it appears this is our best chance. So <laughs> let's give it a shot. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Oh, hey, do you know what? That's good. I will take that. I mean, it's not the best you can get, but for a first enchant in the world, I'll take it. Well, technically not our first enchant, but our first enchant where we're actually trying. Of course, I do have five diamonds left, but for now, this is a big deal. We can actually go and get those diamonds that we left behind before with the Fortune 2. Fortune 3 would obviously be more ideal, but uh, we'll take what we can get, right Dandy? Hopefully I've lit up this cave enough for us to get safely down. <laughs> it's not half as scary this time anyways. It's such a quick journey down into the depths now. It, it's honestly so cool to find a cave like this. I can't wait to be able to set up a cave base as well. We can have a whole cave city. Uh, for now though, uh, let's focus. There should be diamonds right there. Yeah. I keep thinking that glow lichen is diamonds, but eh, upon closer inspection, it's just glow lichen. Okay. Let us see if we can get any extra diamonds out of this. So this is three ore. It turns into four diamonds. You know what? Better than three. Four is better than three. We take four. We take that. That's okay. That's a win. And let's see what this one gives us. Uh, two. Okay. So now we're up to six. That was worth it, I think. We turned four diamond ore into six diamonds. I mean, it's not great, but we'll have to improve our pick later. This fortune will even help out for redstone, it'll help out for lapis and iron and copper and all of the things that we need in this world. So, it's a huge enchantment. For now, let's leave the caves behind and go back home. Okay, home sweet home, and I think this chest right here will be like our riches chest. <laughs> and it looks like we're doing fairly well so far for episode 3. Put the pickaxe in there so we don't lose it. Right, and with that everyone, I do think that's all the time that I have for us today. Thank you so much for watching. It's been an amazing episode three. We got so much done when it comes to farming. We got a couple more diamonds. We have an enchanting setup and a spawner. I feel good. Thank you so much for supporting the series and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye everyone.